This program contains graphic images of slaughtered animals. Viewer discretion is advised. Just like there are reports of people disappearing and being kidnapped by aliens, another phenomenon has caused a great debate among experts around the globe. Animal mutilations. Declassified files from the Federal Bureau of Investigation has revealed the FBI has investigated thousands of instances of cattle mutilation across the United States since at least the 1970s but with no avail. Early reports of mutilated cattle first appeared in the United States in the 1960s, when the states of Pennsylvania and Kansas were largely confined. The phenomenon was still largely unknown outside livestock breeding communities until 1967 when the Pueblo chieftain in Pueblo, Colorado published a story about a horse that was called Lady was mutilated under mysterious circumstances. Shortly thereafter the story was collected by the press in general and distributed throughout the country, this case was also the first feature to speculation that extraterrestrial beings and unidentified flying objects were somehow related to mutilation. From the time reports of alleged animal mutilations began, the causes have been attributed in particular to natural decomposition, natural predators, cryptic predators, extraterrestrials, reserved military or government agencies, and sex. The mutilations have been the subject of two independent federal investigations. But despite this fact, leading experts aren't sure either and the more we look into this the less we seem to understand. Skeptics argue that aliens aren't involved but that cattle disfigurement is in fact the product of natural disasters, sadistic pranks or other sick hijinks. But UFO researchers argue that otherworldly explanations cannot be overruled due to the fact that nearly all attackers are carried out with surgical precision. The mutilated cattle is found all across the world, but most notably in U.S. states such as South Dakota, Colorado, Kansas, and Nevada where farmers have discovered their cattle's organs, eyes, noses, tongues, hearts, livers, anuses, and genitalia, removed with laser-like precision. Furthermore, FBI documents clearly state that the U.S. best investigative minds cannot answer the most asked question of them all, who is doing this? Another worldly explanation seems very likely according to many authors. This is mostly because residents have reported seeing mysterious crafts, as well as strange lights in the sky circling the areas where mutilated cattle later turned up. Chuck Zakowski, curator of UFONUD.com and a researcher who has been investigating cattle mutilations for decades said in an interview with Skook, No sign of predator takedown, no sign of masses amount of bleeding out, and no signs of animal struggle, none. The animal is just placed back, and in some cases, a round ground depression is created while placing the animal back. Mutilations have been going on for centuries. Native Americans also have stories of mutilated animals that occurred before the Europeans migrated to North America, Mr. Zikovsky told Sputnik. Although the exact nature of the mutilation varies from case to case, typical mutilation may involve some or all of the following characteristics. Excision of the eyes, udders, and sexual organs. Extraction of the anus to a depth of about 12 inches. The cleavage of the tongue and lips. The removal of one of the ears. Removing the soft organs from the lower body. The presence of incisions and cuts throughout the body that appear to have been made by a surgical instrument. Inexplicable damage to the remaining organs, but no sign of damage in surrounding areas. Lack of signs of predation, scratches, teeth marks, traces of the predator, on or around the corpse. Lack of waste. Blood drained out of the body. As you can see, there is a clear research is ongoing secretly in our planet by unknown force. One day I got an email from Australia. And uh, this woman by the name of Carol Leister sent me the pictures of a human mutilation. And, uh, it's the same scenario, had one ear missing and a little cut on the chest and, uh, uh, you know, his uh, sex organs uh, and the rectum was cut out, you know, stuff like that. But I don't use it because I have no way of knowing if it's a hoax or not. Reports of human mutilations started in 1960. 
Human mutilations have been reported in the USA, Brazil, Australia, and New Zealand. Some notable cases are known to have been authenticated by authorities in USA and Brazil. The most famous and perplexing was the Sao Paulo case in Brazil. Having been discovered in a major city, the police department were very thorough in their investigation and the autopsy was conducted by forensic experts. The autopsy report is one of the most disturbing documents ever researched by the Beyond team, partially because it proves that the characteristic mutilation wounds were accomplished with specifically designed tools and pumps and the wounds show vital reactions, meaning that the man was living throughout the process. The cause of death was determined from the internal damage to the brain and heart to be cardiac arrest due to extreme pain. There was an absence of blood and evidence that certain organs and even muscles had been somehow removed through small cookie cutter holes. The forensic experts have no idea as to how this was accomplished. Even more confusing is the fact that there were no signs of struggle or resistance. Respected UFO researchers have expressed concerns over the apparent need for the media to bury or downplay stories of human mutilations for fear of bad taste, public reaction, or even the possibility of being seen to validate the peripheral UFO communities. Human mutilation occurrences are extremely rare, yet they do involve the taking of human lives. Obviously, such stories are not to be sensationalized, but it is important that stories are not covered up. It would seem that they are a very small, but extremely important element of the whole cattle mutilation mystery. Some theorists believe an Alma or Russian Sasquatch tracked the campers, frightened and killed them. To support this claim, theorists point to the odd location of the final campsite, out in the open, away from the forest. They also allege the ominous phrase, from now on we know that snowmen exist, was found scrawled on a nearby scrap of paper. Very large, healthy animal, and she had given birth to a calf uh, that had grown to 400 pounds, so she was a very healthy animal. Despite days of decay and maggot infestation, there were no body parts or organs thrown about in a manner typically found when predators or scavengers strike. Cattle mutilations have revealed livestock disembodied under mysterious circumstances and bizarre facts. The remote settings. Coming up, the number of mutilation cases grows and the FBI gets called in. First thing he says to me, you know, I'm going to prove that this is nothing but predator. There is shocking news. A second cow is down. And Linda's investigation reveals what eyewitnesses saw. Yeah, you didn't see an airplane, so the only thing you were seeing was that white light. That's right. cows you know there's something going on there's bizarre circumstances around this the field was full of snow it's a quarter section there was no tracks coming in or out there's 14 other bulls and this guy was 1780 pounds and there was giants in that field there's no way anyone could get near so what happened This rancher believes that it's not just his animals that are under threat. 
and we're getting short of air, short of oxygen. This rancher believes that it's not just his animals that are under threat. And we're getting short of air, short of oxygen. Answers to a deadly and gruesome mystery in an effort to reveal the true identity of the cattle killer of North America. see it, it it does scare you and it does make you think when you're driving at night or you see strange vehicles around and you just kind of wonder about it.